So I made a video about Cody's V Trigger 2 Rock way, way back when he was he was first coming out, and it didn't get a lot of traffic. I feel that uh, it wasn't as big of an issue at the time, or I say issue, but basically I made a video expressing how to punish Cody when he does this rock toss, regardless of whether or not he does the follow-up attack at any particular timing or, you know, the vertical one. It doesn't matter. Cody's going to be standing and he's going to be left open as soon as he tosses that rock for a really long time. The, the, um... Like, even Urian, you know, can be hit through his Aegis Mirror by certain attacks. But, uh, the rock especially, because it's all the way up here, is not gonna hit the opponent until it falls all the way down, which means that you have all that time in the world to, like, to, you know, make contact with Cody, and then, uh, and before he hits it, the rock really doesn't have very much hit stun, whereas, uh, you can hit Cody with moves that have lots of hit stun. You know, there's lots of, I made plenty of videos of similar tech, like, against Minot or other characters, but... Videos uh, of, uh, situations where you can take advantage of stuff like that. And get trade-based combos that Cody has absolutely no way to interrupt. His only- this is him blocking as fast as possible. His only other, uh, available action would be to swing the bat, which would still result in him getting hit. It would just make it a crush counter. So, some more characters, so, you know, I'm sure anyone, Cody doesn't really make a lot of, you know, top 8 appearances in, in major tournaments or anything, but in the instances where you've seen Cody appear, you've likely seen, everyone uses V-Trigger 2, it's, it's, it's no surprise. And, uh, you've likely seen lots of people, uh, when they activate V-Trigger 2, uh, well, generally, if they activate, they're going to go for some sort of mix-up because they're activating off of, like, Roundhouse or, or EX Zonk. But uh, when they go into neutral, a lot of Cody players, tend, because it doesn't cost any V-Gage for them to do it, they're just going to toss the rock out because it seems like, and a lot of people respect it, so it seems like a safe action, you know? You can't really jump on it. If you try to swing, you're obviously just going to get hit. And then you're going to be really minus if, you know, you, if you just randomly swing and then the rock hits you and he can combo off that. So a lot of people respect this and it's completely unnecessary. I mean, like, there's obvious as punishes that some characters can do to get a quick knockdown, like... Like that, where, you know, it's not really ideal for Ryu to do that, but it is guaranteed. Uh, but there's better combos that you can get. Like that, that's a unique uh, trade situation. Uh, even if you mistime it, it's still going to be plus on block. Thanks to uh, thanks to the rock uh, interrupting you and reducing your recovery. That's a guaranteed side switch combo. So yeah, most characters can just sort of go ahead and take a take an easy knockdown if they're in close range. You know, a lot of Cody players tend to like canceling off of his standing fierce or some other buttons into the rock toss. That's an easy punish. And then if he's going to be uh, canceling it into the um, if he's going to be trying to swing afterwards, that's just a a hard knockdown with the crush counter. So yeah, I think you'll find that most characters that you can play as tend to have really good punishes to the rock toss at around this range. Even if they don't have uh, attacks that reach from uh, further away. Yeah, they can get a knockdown at least, but again, yeah, most characters, if Cody cancels a normal into a rock toss, the, there should be a pretty optimal punish available. <laughs> 